Hi, it's Bill from AboutAirCompressors.com. I get a lot of questions on my air site about air regulators. So here's a little bit more information for you. This is a typical setup for a do-it-yourself air regulator on a do-it-yourself type air compressor. Here's the air tank and it can be a variety of different shapes. The air comes out of the tank and this one may not be exactly the same on yours and goes to a pressure switch which controls the on and off of the compressor. What we wanted to talk about though right now in this video is the air regulator. The air regulator's purpose is to reduce the air pressure to your downstream tool application. It cannot increase the air pressure above whatever is set on this gauge, the tank gauge. You want to lower the pressure so that your air tool gets a consistent, smooth flow of air at the correct pressure for it to operate. We've got the line coming in from the pressure switch to the regulator itself. We've got a general purpose air gauge and we've got the adjusting knob on this regulator. If you observe the gauge for a second, you'll see what happens when I turn this adjusting knob in a counterclockwise position. You may not have heard, but when I did that, there was a small hissing sound as the regulator relieved the downstream air pressure. Dialing this one in the, in the clockwise direction, this brings the air pressure back up. Now this is the pressure that your downstream device, your air tool, whatever, is going to actually experience. You want the pressure on the regulator to be below the pressure on the tank so that your downstream application, your tool, gets a continuous stream of, of um, regulated steady air pressure. As long as your compressor is big enough to generate more air than your air tool is using, having this regulator set to the minimum operating pressure of your tool will give you the most efficient and effective way to operate that air tool.